Hi. So, I'm Ayana. Hi, so that was a really bad attempt at an introduction. I promise I'll make a proper one soon, but for now we gotta settle with that. So today we will be unboxing and reviewing the Studio VK1200 pen display tablet by Veek. Veek was kind enough to not just send me this tablet, but also their Viola L pen tablet, so expect a video on that as well. And I might make a third video where I compare the pros and cons of getting a pen display tablet versus a pen tablet. This is an 11 by 6 inch screen display tablet that is compatible with Mac OS, Chrome OS, Windows, and Linux. As far as I know, it's also compatible with most drawing programs such as Photoshop, um, Clip Studio Paint, Paint Tool Sci, and etc. You can buy this tablet at Veek's flagship store in Lazada for 8,808 pesos, but if you use my code AYACHI, you will get a 400 peso off voucher. Don't worry, I'll add the link to the product itself in the description box. So I'll flash everything included in the box on the screen right now, but I just want to note that it has two pens. And holy smokes, 28 pen nibs. When I was younger, I was using a Wacom Intuos pen tablet, and I did not know that you could change pen nibs. So for eight whole years, I went without changing my pen snib, not even once. So I am very glad that this has a lot of those. This is me taking the tablet out of the plastic, and I just want to say that it feels very high-end. It doesn't feel like cheap material at all, especially considering the price, which I will talk about later on. The tablet doesn't come with a stand, so I had to use my laptop stand for the tablet. I would suggest getting a metal stand or something heavier because as you'll see later on in the drawing process, you will see that I am literally fighting with the tablet just so it stays in place, so it gets moved around a lot. I currently use a Hui on Canvas 13, which I also have a video on that is linked below. Okay, so here's me setting it up, and all the instructions for where the cables go and how to get the driver are all in the manual, so take your time, read the manual. This was by far the fastest tablet setup I've ever done in 15 minutes, I was ready to go. Although for the cables, I did have to ask my boyfriend for help, so there's me passing it on to him and giving him support by, <laughs> by patting him on the back, and then he unplugs my monitor. That was the only technical difficulty I had. You also have to restart your PC after downloading the driver. And it also says you're not allowed to have other drivers installed on your PC, but I didn't uninstall my Huion driver and it works just fine. I initially didn't know what I wanted to draw for this video, but I settled on my OC Milk. I posted a non-sped up but cut version of this speed paint to my YouTube channel, so if you want, you can go check that out. Just a warning for all the snoring in there because my boyfriend was snoring in the background of that video, so yeah. So overall, here are my thoughts about the Studio VK1200. Let's start with things that I found off about it or things that I might have not liked. So I noticed that working with very small brush sizes could be difficult. Um, the calibration of the pen doesn't track well for very, very small brush sizes, so I would recommend zooming in on the canvas real good. Speaking of the calibration, once I get to the very, very, very end of the canvas, like the scroll bar on the right hand side for the layers, it's hard for me to press the scroll bar with the pen as it doesn't really find it or something. I feel like that's because I tilt my pen way too much to the right, so try using a centered tilt, I guess, to your pen so that you can select things on the very far right of the screen. Those were actually the only problems I encountered when drawing with this, which had really quick fixes. So on to the other aspects of the pen display. As I've mentioned earlier, when I pulled it out of the plastic, it felt really expensive and high-end, considering the price point of 8,800 pesos, which is insanely cheap for a pen display tablet. Actually, when you go to Veek's website, most of their products are very budget-friendly and affordable, but don't let that make you think that it's made with cheap material or that the performance sucks, because drawing with it was actually really easy, and overall, it performed really well. 
the design is also very sleek it's not bulky it's actually very compact speaking of compact let's get into talking about the size i initially thought it was going to be way too small for my liking but i was very pleasantly surprised by how much i like the size so i draw on my ipad sometimes and whenever i work on that i feel like i'm very constricted by the workspace the size of my ipad is very similar to the size of the work area on the Vic tablet i just found that the vk1200 has a wider work area the user interface of Clip Studio Paint on the iPad is very tight compared to Windows, where it's very, very not. <laughs> the size of the VK1200 was also made with the thought of portability in mind. Okay, next was an actual real goodie that I found. It was really easy to calibrate the color, the contrast, and the brightness of the pen tablet. And as an artist, you know how important it is to get those really accurate. As much as possible, I try to mimic the color reproduction, like the brightness, the contrast, etc. values of my monitor to whatever tablet that I'm using. So I'm just really glad that it was easy to calibrate those options. If you're a traditional artist and you're used to drawing on paper but want to try digital art for the first time, then you're gonna love how this feels like paper. That's because it has a, I think, a ceramic finish that mimics the feel of paper when you draw on it. So it's not glossy at all, it also has anti-glare, which means if there is a light source hitting it nearby, it doesn't reflect it in a way where you can't see what you're doing. Using tablets like these are the reason why I've opted for a ceramic-like screen protector for my iPad, like the Paperlike, because it mimics the feel of paper while reflecting light in a way that's still easy to work around. Next is actually the express keys on the left side of the tablet. If you watch my other video on this speed paint, you're gonna notice how clicky and crisp the keys are. But there is a total of six express keys that you can set to whatever keyboard command that could help your workflow become easier. Personally, I only use zoom in, zoom out, space to move around the canvas, and control Z. You can set the keys to anything you'd like, such as a shortcut for your eraser or your main rendering brush or line art brush. It's completely up to you. As I've mentioned earlier, you will see me, and you're currently seeing me, struggle to keep the screen display tablet in the center of the camera because it keeps being pushed around by my hand. So I would suggest getting a metal stand for this or something heavier because I'm using a plastic one. Overall, my thoughts for the Vake VK Studio 1200 is that if you're a beginner who's looking to delve into the world of digital art without wanting to splurge so much on your first tablet, then I would highly suggest this one. Price point is cheap, design is very sleek, size is just right, compact and portable, really easy to set up, and overall performs really well. So this could be the pen display tablet for you. I could also suggest the Viola L pen tablet, but I will make a separate video on that and might make a third video on the pros and cons of getting a pen tablet versus a pen display tablet. But yeah, drawing with this felt really nice and smooth and would really recommend this to people looking for their very first screen display tablet. So that's my bit. Thank you so much for watching.